by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Northern Illinois University, I hereby formally confer upon you the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Congratulations. of the Board of Trustees of the John Butler, President Douglas Baker, Executive Vice President and Provost, Professor Raymond Arthur, Professor Emeritus Javier, Vice President Lisa Freeman, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am most honored to be here today among the distinguished members of the Board of Trustees, administrators, and faculty members of Northern Illinois University at Decal, Illinois. Thank you very much for conferring me an honorary degree of Doctor of Human Letters and also an honorable member of Phi Theta Delta. It's very hard for me because I, uh, I considered myself one of the uh, Education administrator, but maybe not not a very distinguished one. But so, so <laughs> I, I feel honored to to be part of the uh, in a chapter. It is my first <laughs> visit to NIU. In fact, I've known the university for a long time by the. Year. And maybe this is because one of my classmates got a PhD in history from here. Unfortunately, due to her teaching responsibility, she cannot come with me today. I, I have learned that besides the university's strength in history, it offers diversified academic programs in our science, engineering, business, etc. I also learned that this university established a center of Southeast Asian studies in 1963. And the center has contributed to the world by increasing the knowledge and understanding of the 11 Southeast Asian countries. It also offers training and Southeast Asian Languages and well, I, I would like to add a bit that uh, I, I made uh, your reason book on the, on Southeast Asia. You have uh, only up here this year. Mm -hmm. uh, I wrote a book. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to understand. <laughs> Asia, 
And because at that time, maybe due to the Vietnam War, the, this uh, subject is very popular. But when I finished my education, the focus of the history is shifted to middle, the Middle East. So maybe I, I use a, uh, but, but anyway, I, I'm um, teaching uh, Southeast Asian uh, studies and, and something related, so I can still have a good use of my, in my studies. In fact, uh, in my life, I, I had the opportunity to go to travel the, the country, and uh, there are good things, bad things, but things that I I have seen and, and so I uh, promised myself that when I grow up, I would like to uh, do something uh, for uh, my country in a way. It is the, uh, maybe it's the uh, sentiment of uh, patriotic or uh, nationalism, which is not always a good thing, but I read a lot of that you know, some people were quite concerned about this. But in my idea as teenager, I think that the uh, nationalistic uh, feeling means have to do something for the people of Thailand. So education is my first interest, and the purpose uh, of studying education is to try to provide the, every child or even adult an opportunity to have good education to the highest level at the fullest of child's capacity. I started with few uh, primary schools in the remote area in Thailand. And later on, we used a technique or, which is called the school mapping. And we used this uh, remote sensing or uh, technique to pinpoint the community and then we send some people, especially the, uh, the policemen, because some places is too difficult to, uh, to us, civilian to, to get there. So we see what to help, how many people in, in the community uh, and uh, how many children who need education and we find uh, the right place, places to do uh, school. Now my education development projects expand to cover secondary education, vocational, technical education, and higher education through formal, non-formal, and informal education. Some students from the remote area have made it to the universities both in Thailand and abroad. When I started my education project, I first focused on disadvantage and the average uh, groups, like me, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I have the access to good education so I can do something. Now, as the chair of Foundation for Promote, Promotion of Academic Olympiad, and the development of science education founded by my late aunt, Princess Galayani Watana. I also take care of gifted students. For the children in the remote areas to learn well, first we must take care of their health. I used to help improve health of individuals and families before, but I did that one by one. Later, I have found that the schools are the perfect place where more people can have access to knowledge and services on health, nutrition, agriculture, food processing, and food preservation, etc. Children learn how to do gardening and raising animals and fish for food and the access for, for sale. And this is, uh, at 
first I, I thought only for the to to give uh, good food for to the children, but now I, I learned from um, American document tourist film that if you get uh, the the green and uh, in Albany, uh, food or vegetable and then uh, just uh, pick it and cook it right away. It is uh, far better food than the food from the store. <laughs> 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 Children, how about how to do gardening and raising animals and fish? Yeah. But then also know the principle and practice of cooperative and accounting. I try to stress that nothing comes for free. Anybody should pay for it. I have had many uh, projects in school to improve health, hygiene, and sanitation of school children and their community. And some some method is uh, quite easy, like uh, uh, have to wash your hands before eating. I have gained a lot of experience in immunization, iodine deficiency, anemia, malaria, parasitic worms, oral health, etc. The late Professor Scrimshaw from the United States gave me many useful advices on nutrition as an important tool to improve quality of life, including one about nurturing pregnant and lactating mothers for better quality babies. Therefore, nutrition has always been the main focus of my work. It's what not normally is stuck at the primary level, but later on I study in Thai University that the Nutrition is also very important for the secondary uh, children or teenagers, especially for girls. And we sometimes they don't have time or uh, they are not uh, careful enough about their, their own food. Uh, then it is very, very important. And uh, if we incorrect the nutrition, we if we just call it like that, for example, we can add to correct the problem of anemia. Then their study and all their work will be far better than the one with uh, um, malnutrition. My next concern <coughs> is about the job opportunity. After students leave schools, we must provide some vocational training for students in remote areas. In fact, even in school, I think if the children can uh, have additional income by uh, studying some, get some kind of uh, vocational training, then it will help them at that time, not, not only in the future. And they will have skill training that they can do some other things. <coughs> 